Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Rick's Reviews, and I don't know if I should upload this on the other channel as well, but this is going to be an unboxing of a recertified Swagtron EB5 bike. So we're going to open this up and let's see what we get inside. I don't know what to expect. It says that it can contain cosmetic issues, but that other than that, the working order of the bike is going to be perfect. So we'll see about that. All right, so right off the bat, we got some uh, nice packing material, nice sponges, more sponges, some more here. Overall, the packing quality is pretty good in here. Uh, I'm going to flip the box here so you guys can see. There you go. Uh, I can see already there are a few scratches on some of the stuff here. But overall, the bike looks pretty good. The tires feel pretty flat, so that's not good. But I have a pump, so it doesn't matter. All right, so let's get this guy out. Oh. So we got a box in here as well. Let's see what the box has. So in the box we have the charging cord or the charging cable. So I already like this one better compared to the uh, Swagger 5 for the reason that the cord is a lot longer but the bad part is I don't like these uh, style connectors which I'll bring it up closer in a second. And then we have the bicycle seat seems to be in good condition um, I don't know how good it's gonna be uh, with me because um, my butt's kind of wide so I'm gonna need a little, maybe a wider seat I don't know let me know what you guys think right there alright so that's it that's all that comes in the box and I hope it's really recertified I hope they don't just uh, get them and just throw them in a box again and then ship them out. Hopefully they check all the mechanics and hopefully replace the battery inside that can be damaged. Alright, so let's get this box out of here. So here's the bike itself. Now let's open this guy up. Another sponge there. Now it has the tape over the battery compartment here. Or not the battery compartment, but where the battery connects to the bike. Alright, so that's it with that. Locks into place. And I don't know if that's it. Oh, here we go. So that locks into place. That goes down. Oh, that's pretty easy. And... Honestly, I thought I ordered the black one, but I got the white one. So let me lower the camera so you guys can see the bottom of it here. So we got the bike here. This looks kind of small. So this goes up like that and it locks up. Like that. Pretty simple. And the bike tube that and that locks up pretty easily and the pedals flip open so that's pretty cool all right and now we have bike seat Since I'm a pretty tall rider, I think I'm going to have it pretty high. And that should be it right there. So overall, what do I think? Uh, the bike does have a few scratches here and there. Uh, it's not too bad. But it does have... It does look kind of... You know, has a bit of wear and tear. The brakes feel really good. So that's good. 
The chain looks like it's in good shape. The motor, the motor looks used. Um, looks like somebody took a wrench to it. it does have a kickstand, which is pretty nice. So, uh, so yeah, my overall impressions are pretty good. It's really easy to assemble. As you can see, I only installed the, the handlebar here, and it's just like a lock, twist lock feature here. Or you uh, turn it and then you just lock it up. Same thing with the seat. The seat is adjustable. You can adjust it forward and back. It has a maximum capacity on there. And yeah, that's about it. Other than that, the tires seem kind of low. But I'm going to fix that up. And the rim is kind of scratched up. It's not too bad. But as long as the bike works. So the maximum PSI for these tires are 65 PSI. These are Kenda tires. And what else can I say? Yeah, that's about it. These are tube tires. But yeah, other than that, the bike looks like it's in good shape. I'll bring it in closer so you guys can see the handlebars. All right, so the handlebars here has a reflector, a bit of scratches here and there. Not too bad. I think this is the the worst part here. Maybe you can see that right here. There's a few scratches on the actual thing. But other than that, um, the bike look, looks great. The little bell brakes work good. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, the only thing I will say is that the front rim is also pretty banged up. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. See on the rim right here. It's kind of like banged up. Um, I don't know from what. Maybe they replaced the front tire and they didn't do a very good job at it and they scratched up the whole rim. But the other side seems to be in good shape. So that's the only thing I see. So yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Uh, so this is the unboxing for the EB5 uh, Swagtron e-bike. This one, again, uh, you can get it recertified. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you guys can pick one up. Uh, I believe they're $449. Uh, yeah, and um, I'm going to see if I can find the actual link to my uh, discount code. Because uh, I am, I signed up to be the affiliate for them. As well as for Amazon. I'm going to put a link for Amazon as well in case you want to get it with Amazon to get the uh, warranties. But they offer you a 90 day warranty for these bikes. Uh, the overall condition for the bike again, it looks pretty good. Oh, that, that's what I need to try out is uh, I need to turn this on to see if it actually works. Let me give it some juice to see if it uh, powers up. All right, guys. So from the looks of it here, I plugged it up and it's uh, I didn't charge it all the way. I just wanted to see if it worked, and it does work. So after I give it a little bit of juice, it started uh, firing up. So now the actual light here turned on says it's fully charged I don't think so so I don't wouldn't believe that but if I turn the little thing and there it goes so uh yeah first impressions is pretty good uh, hopefully hopefully this thing works uh, as it should uh, I'm pretty sure it will but uh, we'll test it out and I'll give you guys a full in-depth review of this bike uh, oh, that's one thing I noticed here. The big tear on my seat. Right in the front. But, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some, some tape over this to uh, prevent it from tearing even more. Again, guys, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys wanna pick one up, um, I'm gonna put again a link in the description below so you guys can pick it up at Swagtron on their website or you can go to Amazon and pick it up there so again thanks for watching guys peace also guys I'm sorry about the intro but yeah again thanks for uh, watching and consider subscribing